Hello everybody, um, my name is Brianna and I will be doing my uh, presentation over Catherine Dunham and I'm going to be my living statue. Please excuse the mess in the back, sorry. Um, but anyways, uh, this is inspired by her um, outfit in our book that we read. Um, so I'll go ahead and just get into it. Uh, Catherine Denham was without a doubt an influential dancer, anthropologist, and choreographer. Her com contributions were to the field of modern dance and also played a crucial role in promoting African and Caribbean dance styles. Denham was born uh, in 1909 and lived a life of 96 years old. She grew up in Glen, Glen Island, Illinois. She not only put dance first, but as well her education. Denham went on to earn her bachelor's degree in anthropology from the University of Chicago, and then went on to earn her master's degree in anthropology from Northwestern University. Um, Dunham studied dance forms that consisted around the West Indies and Haiti. This unique experience had a huge impact on her work and was a major influence in the development of her unique dance style. Unfortunately, during Dunham's time, there was a period of significant amounts of political and social challenges. To begin with, it was racial segregation uh, was deeply ingrained in American society. Denham and a lot of other African Americans faced discrimination, along with limited opportunities throughout their life, including the performing arts aspect. Denham faced many obstacles throughout her career as a dancer, meaning she had to jump through fire to get into dance venues, performances, rehearsals, um, even to collaborate with any kind of choreography. Uh, in this aspect, Dunham was known for putting up the fight against racial segregation in performances spaces. An example of Catherine Dunham challenging these norms of segregation going on, she proceeded in Louisville. She emerged at the end of the performance wearing a sign uh, that a company member stole that said, for whites only, attached to her side. After bowing, she turned up stage and danced a triple step moving back and forth from her hips for all to view. When she bowed, she read a speech in which announced that she would not return to the theater until it integrated. Uh, her word, word made national headlines where she received fan letters across the country. Uh, she made it a statement to use her platform as a means to stand up for her rights and what she believed in, which is racial quality, equality and social justice. She showed this within her choreography as well, challenging stereotypes and showcased her artistry by Dunham using dance as a tool for cultural expression and activism. She made an amazing impact on challenging all racial barriers that were sent her way, which is, I believe, a powerful thing. Um, through Denham's career as a dancer and choreographer, she choreographed 90 dances and five reviews, uh, four of them on Broadway. From all the wonderful contributions that Denham has made, there is a light and dance technique that is in her honor. Uh, this is known as the Denham Technique, uh, which combines ballet, Afro-Caribbean movement, in the lovely, lovely Dunham technique, it showcases that the use of the pelvis, torso, and the spine uh, as the foundation of movement. Uh, Dunham showed the power and expressiveness of the body's core, and her technique incorporated elements of the core in order to enhance her articulation of different parts of the body, allowing an immense range of amazing movements. In conclusion, Catherine Dunham has impacted every aspect of the dance world, with Dunham being a dancer, choreographer, anthropologist, and social activist. She conquered so many social barriers. Her innovative Dunham technique blended ballet, modern dance, and Afro-Caribbean movement has without a doubt revolutionized the way dance approached to celebrate cultural diversity and has now a lasting impression on the dance society. Thank you for watching my video.